fission for unicellular organisms cell division or fission leads to the creation of new individuals many different patterns of fission have been observed many bacteria and protozoa simply split into two equal halves during cell division in organisms such as amoeba the splitting of the two cells during division can take place in any plane however some unicellular organisms show somewhat more organization of their bodies such as leishmania which cause kala azar which have a whip like structure at one end of the cell in such organisms binary fission occurs in a definite orientation in relation to these structures other single celled organisms such as the malarial parasite plasmodium divide into many daughter cells simultaneously by multiple fission yeast on the other hand can put out small buds that separate and grow further as we saw in previous activity fragmentation let's perform an activity collect water from a lake or pond that appears dark green and contains filamentous structures put one or two filaments on a slide put a drop of glycerin on these filaments and cover it up with a cover slip observe the slide under a microscope can you identify different tissues in spirogyra filaments in multicellular organisms with relatively simple body organization simple reproductive methods can still work spirogyra for example simply breaks up into smaller pieces upon maturation these pieces or fragments grow into new individuals can we work out the reason for this based on what we saw in previous activity this is not true for all multicellular organisms they cannot simply divide cell by cell the reason is that many multicellular organisms as we have seen are not simply a random collection of cells specialized cells are organized as tissues and tissues are organized into organs which then have to be placed at definite positions in the body in such a carefully organized situation cell by cell division would be impractical multicellular organisms therefore need to use more complex ways of reproduction budding organisms such as hydra use regenerative cells for reproduction in the process of budding in hydra a bud develops as an outgrowth due to repeated cell division at one specific site these buds develop into tiny individuals and when fully mature detach from the parent body and become new independent individuals vegetative propagation there are many plants in which parts like the root stem and leaves develop into new plants under appropriate conditions unlike in most animals plants can indeed use such a mode for reproduction this property of vegetative propagation is used in methods such as layering or grafting to grow many plants like sugarcane 
roses or grapes for agricultural purposes. Plants raised by vegetative propagation can bear flowers and fruits earlier than those produced from seeds. Such methods also make possible the propagation of plants such as banana, orange, rose and jasmine that have lost the capacity to produce seeds. Another advantage of vegetative propagation is that all plants produced are genetically similar enough to the parent plant to have all its characteristics.